my son has his own life and his own story. My son's cancer diagnosis rocked my world. It pulled a curtain from over my eyes. I don't want to get deeper into it, but I can tell you that was a sledgehammer to my reality. So Michael Bublé had a very emotional interview where he discussed his son's liver cancer and how it reset his priorities. And he said he abandoned his ego. So as he learned that his son was diagnosed with heptoblastoma at just the age of three, he said that there was a curtain pulled over his eyes when he realized that while he loves his family, he was so busy working on being the best in the business. I remember just sitting in the stall, standing there, you know? The children's hospital. Yes, sir. And I remember closing my eyes and saying to myself, if we get out of this, if we get out of this, I'm living a different life, a better life. And I did, I made that promise to myself in like a moment. So while speaking to Stephen Barlett on the Diary of a CEO podcast, Michael Buble went on to talk about his son Noah and that he wants to be more empathetic during his son's illness. And his son's currently going under chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And that if his son makes it out, he's gonna be a better person and stop focusing so much on his career and more on his son. I think a lot of us hard workers can relate to that. I find even myself getting so caught up in side hustles, working late, focusing so much on my money and just wealth preservation that even I find myself sometimes slipping through the cracks and not paying as much attention to the people that I care about. If I am understanding him correctly, I hope that he doesn't wait until good news is on the horizon for him to be a better person. I hope he starts today. I I'm assuming that's what he means. But man, if your son's going through some things, you got to push the career a little bit to the side. Michael Buble is very wealthy. I'm sure he'll be okay. But anyway, that's the story. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.